Hello, welcome to another video. So this is one of those MIT integration B problems and this was I think in the qualification round some years ago. I'm saying more than five years ago so maybe some newer ones would be trickier. Now looking at this integration you could see from the beginning that the boundaries have a problem or present a problem. The fact that this function is not defined at zero because if x equals zero then this becomes undefined and if x equals one this function is undefined so that would throw you off right from the start but assuming it doesn't throw you off from the start the next question is what strategy do you adopt so straight away i could see that if i distribute x into this um, parenthesis i'm going to get x minus x squared which I could make into a perfect square if I complete the squares and then I could do some trig substitution. That's an option. But my first instinct was to look at the square root and there's an x on the outside. What if I split this into 1 over the square root of x multiplied by 1 over the square root of 1 minus x and then I try to make my u the square root of x because I know that the square root of x always gives 1 over the square root of x when you take the derivative. Well, that's my choice and that's what I'm going to do. So let's get into this. So my choice is to split. So I'm going to say this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over the square root of x times 1 over the square root of 1 minus x dx. So what I'm going to do is, because I have the square root of x here, and I can make this 1 minus something squared, so I can do my trig substitution eventually, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say this is equal to, let's rewrite it, this is the integral from 0 to 1 of I'll write this first, 1 over, instead of writing 1 minus x, I'm going to write the square root of 1 minus the square root of x squared times 1 over the square root of x dx. Perfect. I saw this coming and that's the first thing I saw and this is going to clean up all my work immediately. Now. I'm going to do a u substitution because you see this is what I made my u in my mind. So I'm going to say um, let u be equal to the square root of x. So I know that du will be equal to the derivative of the square root of x is always one half of one over the square root of x dx. This is some derivative that as a calculus student you have to have in your head that the square root of x when you take the derivative is always one half of one over the square root of x. Okay um, and that's it. So now because it is a definite integral what should be the value of u when evaluated at zero? Well it's square root of zero which will be zero and if I evaluate u at one it's going to be the square root of one which is equal to 1. So nothing changes. So this integral will be here, the integral from 0 to 1 of, now see the substitution I'm going to make. This is going to be, because I've made this my u, this is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared. Okay, that's what I have because this is the same thing as this. And then times, oh, from here, I know that 2 du is going to be this. So I can replace this with 2 du. Let me change it. So multiply both sides by 2. I'm going to have 2 du equals this. So I'm going to replace 1 over square root of x dx with 2 du. Okay, so here we go. So it means that I can pull this 2 to the back and take my integral. So this is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared. And anytime you see something like this, du. 
Anytime you see something like this, you know you have to do trig substitution where your u is going to be sine theta, and that's it. That's it. Now, do I have to write the sine theta again? If, in case this is the first time you're seeing this kind of math done, I'm going to show the work and just save time. Okay, so I'm going to say let u be equal to sine theta. If u equals sine theta, it simply means that du will be equal to cosine theta d theta. Because the next step of integration will be with respect to theta, I need to know what theta is going to be here. So, because everything will become d theta, I have to change from u to theta. So here, I know that u equals sine theta, then it means that theta will be arc sine of u. Okay, so what will be the value of theta when u equals zero? Well, it will be arc sine zero, and that gives me theta equals zero. What will be the value of theta when u equals one? That's arc sine one, and that's pi over two. So this problem that I have can actually be, what else do I need? Um, that's it. So this is going to be equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta, because this is squared, u is squared sine squared theta multiplied by what is du? We said du will be cosine theta d theta. So cosine theta d theta. And what does that give me? It gives me um, 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2. Remember, 1 minus cosine squared theta is, uh, 1 minus sine squared theta is cosine squared theta. So this is 1 over the square root of cosine squared theta, and the square root of cosine squared theta is cosine theta. And cosine theta is what this gives me, 1 over cosine theta times cosine theta, that's all. All I have left here is just 1, d theta. See, I didn't need to show all of this work if I see this. Because just looking at this, all I needed to do was to change the boundaries here. All of this work, if you've done this several times, unless your professor wants you to show the work, this is where you come to immediately. Okay, so let's do this. If I integrate 1, what do I get? I get theta. So this is equal to 2 times theta evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. <sighs> and what does that give us? This is going to be 2 times, if I plug in pi over 2 into theta, let me put this like this. If I plug in pi over 2 into theta, I get pi over 2 minus, plug in 0, you get 0. Well, this looks like 2 times pi over 2 minus 0, which is going to be pi. So the answer to this integral is basically pi. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.